Hello there, YouTube and Visa87 here. I should probably do it like this. With a UU Hacker Show unpacking video. I haven't done one of these in forever, but I am making a video for this one because this this package, this could be the biggest package I ever open. Which is kind of funny because it's just an envelope. Well, it came in more than that, but I'm going to open this package up. We're going to take a look at the contents, and honestly, this has probably been my, my, probably one of my biggest purchases I've ever made while collecting this card game, and uh, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really excited to open this up and show you guys what it is that I got. Now, let's see if I can manage to do this. Can I do this like this? Is it going to be possible? I think we're going to be okay. So we're going to go very lightly across the edges here. Uh... A little too lightly there. I might have to move the camera a little bit. Sorry about that, but you can probably still see me cutting it open a little bit. I just gotta make sure I'm not cutting into my bed. That would be really unfortunate. And that should be all I need. There we go. Don't want the uh, dress to show up. That would be terrible. And uh, I'm gonna put you guys down. Come on. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that's right. Wrong way. Thanks again for your purchase. Rock these badass cards. Yo. <laughs> Thanks, you man. I really appreciate that. Let's make sure that your address doesn't show up. I don't want you getting stalked, bro. Alright, so as you can see, we've got three cards in there. I don't know how I'm going to get these out without ruining them. Uh, am I going to be able to just pull them out? Let's see. They'll we'll go like this. Nope, that's not going to work. Let's go like this. Oh boy. Alright, so I'm gonna have to put you guys down for another second. As we uh see if we can get these out. Awesome. And let's just Alright, so what we have here are that's right, it's a signed dark one. But let's go see what else we got in here. Sorry, I need to keep dropping it. I don't want to take the chance of ruining the cards. I like how we tape this, this is pretty awesome. Uh Let's see, uh, uh. All right. All right, I didn't tear it off perfectly. But what we have here, my friends, is not one, not two, but three signed dark ones. That's right, three of them, man. This looks pretty legit to me. It's got our uh, first edition stamp. Focus. There we go. It's got our first edition stamp on it. Signature looks legit. I'm going to have to ask him to see uh, who again. Dog, stop barking. Not now. We've also got the second one here. Same exact signature. Everything looks uh, everything looks pretty legit to me. It looks like they're in really great shape too. And I also like that they're not, they're not sealed. <laughs> uh, but then we got this third one over here. I didn't get all the tape off. My bad on that. But uh, this one looks... Eh. This one looks pretty legit as well. Sorry for the shaky camera. I'm using my phone. But yeah, this looks pretty legit, man. This is this is this is freaking legit. This this brings me up to four four, yeah, four signed dark ones. Holy crap, man. I now own four of these guys. If you see check my one of my other videos, I show off me having another signed one. And uh Yeah, this is I'm not gonna lie, this has been a dream. Of getting actually getting four of them like this is this is really incredible it was something I always like said to myself haha yeah in my dreams I like I'll ever have four signed dark ones and yet here they are they're they're here I have them and I have two unsigned ones it would be really awesome if I could ever pick up two more unsigned ones that would be that'd be really lit but yeah here we are three signed dark ones not sure who the signature is yet. I still have to get, see if I can figure out who it is. I have an idea of who it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, the signature, it looks like it's JMS, or it could be SWL, depending on how you look at it. If you look at it from one side, it definitely looks like it could be like a JMS. But if you look at it from this side, it could, well, uh, that, that doesn't really do much, does it? But yeah, if you look at it from the other side, it could mean SML. If it's JMS, S. There was a playtester named Joshua Smith back in the Ghost Files set. 
And based on the amount of cards they had, they never made their way into the Exile book as a playtester. So this could have been their cards. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, I'll have to see if uh, Trickler's willing to link me to where he saw this post on these on, on Facebook of all places. But uh, seriously, Trickler, thank you a bunch, man. Um, I'm glad you were you were happy to sell, willing and more than happy to sell these to me. I know you really liked my uh, other videos, and well, this one's basically a shout out to you, man. So once again, rock these badass cards, yo. You know I'm going to. This is this is this is awesome, man. So thank you again, and uh, who knows? Maybe I'll buy from you again in the future. If you. Uh, Look down below, I'll make sure I link uh, to my website. As it stands right now, uh, there is a rumor floating around that uh, there is going to be a Yu Yu Hagasho comeback in October. Now, it's not been made clear if it's a remake, uh, remastered, or if it's something entirely new. It could be a series, it could be a movie or an OVA. But uh, we've heard from some of the voice actors, uh, I think namely it was Chuck Huber, I could be wrong on that. That uh, whenever he was signing cards for Yu Yu Hakusho, he told people to keep their eyes out in October. So, and October's right around the corner. We got less than a month. So, we'll definitely keep our eyes peeled to see if anything awesome happens for Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, I'm not hopeful for the card game at all. Even though Dragon Ball Z got brought back by Panini. I think that was because there was some contractual obligation that had to be done. But, you know, hey man. Three dark ones, so it does nothing else matters right now. Three, three signed dark ones right there, and I have one more in my binder, signed by Scott Sager. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I don't know what other content I'll be bringing to the channel soon. I might end up bringing Pokemon Go over actually. Once screen recording comes out for the iPhone, I'll probably definitely be uploading some Pokemon Go videos. And uh, maybe some Yu Yu Hakusho videos because I have fallen behind on those videos. I have gotten cards. And, uh, yeah. I just can't. I'm literally just staring at them in, in disbelief right now. So I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. And like I said, check the link below if you are a trading card game player and want to sign up. I will say that the mobile version doesn't really work too well. Envision Free doesn't really like mobile versions too much so uh the mobile version of the site too much so you, you should definitely sign in on a computer or a laptop and you'd get the best results that way anyway thanks again once more for watching Vizo 87 out of here with again three signed dark ones